play with a, I play with a lot of passion just because uh, I feel like if you're not passionate about uh, what you do, then you really shouldn't be doing it. And I feel like the only way to kind of take yourself to the next level is to really love what you do and enjoy what you do. And I always try and uh, kind of uh, bring passion to the sport and, and bring some energy to my partner. I like to let him know when he makes a really good play, keep him feeling confident. I've always just been, ever since I was little, I've, I've loved uh, the sport of volleyball and beach volleyball, and I just try and show that how much fun I can have every time I play. So I started playing beach volleyball um, at about, I think I was 14, and I was actually at one of my sister's beach volleyball tournaments. Um, I was playing a lot of baseball and hockey at the time, just a little bit of volleyball, and I actually went to, I, was, I had to go the next weekend again to my sister's tournament, so I was like, I saw kids my age playing last time, I was like, might as well give this a shot. So I actually just got one of my baseball teammates out and instantly just fell in love with the sport, loved, loved the beach from the second I stepped on it, and kind of just played ever since. I just love that it's, it's just so much on yourself and your partner and your like, relationship with your partner and the fact that there's no subs, for the most part there's really no coaching. Um, it's just you and your buddy and you got to kind of figure out a way to beat the two other, the two other uh, guys on the court and it's, it's just, it's all, it's all on you. There's no subs, there's no uh, strat like, there's strategy obviously, but there's no coach there to tell you what to do. You kind of got to figure it out on your own between uh, you and your partner. Ever since I was little, I've been, I've been a pretty passionate guy. I feel like if, if you're not passionate about what you're doing, then, then why do it? And I just try and show, show that on the court. And it's like, since I was little, I've played that way. I want to always pick my teammates up. I always want to be having fun out there because if you're not having fun, why, why are you playing really? So ever since I was a little kid, I've just tried to keep that motto of loud, I'm loud, I like to be out there, I like everybody to be watching me play. Um, and, and I like to give it up for my partner, make sure he knows when he's made a nice play. And I just, I've always played with a, a ton of passion. Like I said, if you're not passionate about the sport, I don't think you should be, you should be out there. I've always been a firm believer in uh, the more you play, the, the better you get. So no matter who, who's around, if, if, if my partner, my regular partner, I've been really lucky to have some amazing partners over, over my, my beach volleyball career. But when my partner can't play and I'm free on the weekend, I'll, whoever, whoever wants to play, I'm always ready to play. And like I said, I, I find it very exciting to work through new things and, and new challenges. And it's really fun when you're working with a new guy you've, you've never played with before because he can teach you so much and I hopefully can can teach him. I just really try and stay positive um, because at the end of the day, like I said, it's, 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 it's a fun sport and I, I like to try and push my passion on whoever I play with so I know that, you know, if they're giving me their best, then we're going to be successful and um, that's kind of how I've always felt and, and like I said, if I ever get the option to play or not play, I'm always going to play. So. so I've always kind of been a fan of the serve. I mean, it's, it's the first line of uh, defense or offense, however you want to look at it. I've always been a guy that tries to keep you off your, off your toes. If, uh, if you're passing my one serve really well, I try and go at you with a different serve. Um, my favorite serve I, would probably be just the regular top, top spin jump serve. Um, been working on a few different things, um, some, some deep floats, some, some other kind of special serves kind of, I guess, that I, I've been working on. But like I, like I said, I just try and keep the guy as comfortable as uh, possible. And, and then once I find a serve you don't like, that's the one I, I try and go with until you adjust again and, and make, a, make a couple of good passes in a row. Then I'll try and throw something different at you. Uh, that, was, that was a really, really special moment for me, winning the Jason uh, Shanaclo Award. Because it just meant, it meant so much that it's, voted, it's all voted on by your peers, which, which meant a lot to me. Because... Um, just kind of everything, everything you do, and I didn't know him personally, obviously, but everything he stands for, I find very important. Um, my mom still cries all the time when she finds out that, or like when we talk about it or, or whatever, and I actually got the chance to uh, message his dad, Jason's, and, and talk to him. And just the people that knew Jason, like um, the Wigstons and stuff like that, that I know pretty well, it, it meant a lot to me to, to win that award. Definitely one of my most memorable beach moments for sure. So. He was, he was a great guy, and I'm just really happy that my name can be up there alongside with all the other great uh, recipients. Representing Canada was, was such an honor. Um, it was definitely a privilege. I, got, I was lucky enough to go to uh, the Youth Olympics in China with Andrew Richards, and uh, it, was a very, it was a very proud moment for us. They were treating us like celebrities over there. Um, there was people asking for my, for my autograph, people asking for photos. It's just, it's, it's really, it was really an honor to, to represent 
our country and take on the best in the world at uh, their craft and in, in a sport that I love so much. And to do it with the Canadian Maple Leaf on my back was definitely a, a huge honor. I got to go to U19 Worlds um, with Chris Tao in Portugal, which was an awesome experience. Um, and now I was lucky enough to qualify again this um, for Switzerland. And um, I'm really excited I get to represent Canada again uh, this summer. And I'm hoping to improve on, on my last finishes and uh, just keep working hard. Um, I know me and Chris have been working hard with our coaches and uh, everything. So I think uh, we're, we're ready to go. In China, I met two really, really awesome guys from New Zealand and the New Zealand head coach. Um, I found out that there was a blocker over in New Zealand that um, needed a partner, and I, I jumped at it right away. I said, hey, I can, I can go and do that if that's uh, something the guy was interested in. Um, he decided that he, he'd love to play with a guy from, from Canada, and that's kind of how it all came about. So I went over there and um, lived a, a little bit of Kiwi style, so it was pretty, it was pretty fun. Me personally, I just try and, and uh, have, have as much fun with it as I can, honestly, because there's going to be some stressful moments in, in matches, and if you're having fun and, and you're going out there and you're playing to win and, and not to lose, that's, that's always the biggest thing for me, is just go out there, um, give it your best shot, have fun, and know that um, sometimes it's going to go your way, sometimes it's not, but that's okay, just get back out there and uh, keep playing hard and try again. This year is the, my first year that I've switched to now full-time uh, beach training with the um, Team Ontario Full-Time Training Centre. I've been lucky enough to have some um, great coaches and actually two really, really great parents who played at high-level high level sports and they're always making sure to, to keep me grounded and keep me focused on the next best uh, thing at hand and that it's, it's definitely to become, to become the best in the world, it, it takes a lot of hard work and that's what I'm trying to do. So I feel like that's kind of that's kind of the way I've I've been able to keep myself focused is that you know if you're not if you're not out there working hard some someone else is so yeah definitely I mean 2020 Olympics 2024 Olympics are definitely something I'm I'm looking at personally I just uh, try and try to be kind of better every day if I get better every day then I feel like I can I can reach the the high goals that I have for myself and um, if I just keep working hard and and um, kind of listening to my coaches, staying on the right path, um, I feel like that's something that I can achieve. Just, just like I said, especially as a young, a young beach volleyball player, just get out there and play as much as you can. If your friends are like, hey, we got three guys, we, we're going to go hack around, get in there, play. Just, just play as much as you can because that's where you're really going to build the love for the sport and that's the only way you're going to get better is just a million different reps and um, don't forget about uh, working hard.